Okay, so we have already done with our primers. You already have your working uh, solution of primers. So your next step is you have to refer to the manual of the PCR kit that you have bought. So in our case, we are using Firepole DNA polymerase from Solis Biodyne. So I've already shown you the manual itself. So the first component that you usually use, the most important component is the buffer. So in our case, we are using 10 times buffer B. Therefore, how do you do your, uh, <coughs> your components is that you have to count how much of the buffer and all other components that you need to take in order for you to do your PCR. All right, the first step is your buffer B. Okay, so the buffer B comes in a 10 times stock solution. All right, so let's say the PCR that I wanted to prepare is in the final or, or, the, or the total uh, total volume of 25 microliters. Therefore, what you should do is that <coughs> you still have to do your M1 V1, M2 V2. Therefore, your buffer B here is 10 times. So, as uh, we have done before, what is the V1? And the M2 recommended by the uh, fire pole DNA polymerase you have to use one times for your working PCR mm, concentration. So the concentration is one time, the stock concentration is 10 times, and the final volume, I suggested that every PCR is being done in 25 microliters of total volume. So what you should do is that the V2 here, the final volume is 25. So from 10 times, you need to dilute it into 1 time. So what you get is 2.5 microliters of buffer B that you need to prepare in your working PCR solution. Okay.